Uh, yeah, so we're here looking at the situation to prepare for um, likely typhoon landfall, not just likely, but a typhoon landfall that will happen in northern Philippines around the Cagayan Isabella era area. Um, at the moment, it's going to super typhoon levels, uh, category four to five, and likely landfall will be around 2 a.m. in the morning. So I've been talking with the IOM Philippines team who will have people out with the government doing assessments already tomorrow. And we expect to get more information from them tomorrow morning to understand how uh, IOM is planning to support the government of the Philippines in terms of the response. Uh, just looking at some of the data that we have from the UN um, in terms of uh, housing and the situation there, which will be one of the major things affected by the typhoon, uh, we were estimating somewhere around 40% of the houses there are not made of concrete, which means that they might be particularly vulnerable depending on uh, how they're built. And also 90% uh, of, the, of, the, of the roofing is made out of corrugated iron sheeting, which has a tendency to fly around in, in large typhoons if it's not properly strapped down. So an expectation would be that there's some serious shelter needs that will be there. Uh, depending on how high the intensity gets as it makes landfall uh, tonight. How many people are potentially going to be affected? Well, the estimate right now in the in the radius, the one hundred, they have a we're, we're talking about a one hundred kilometer radius of the of the typhoon track is five million people. Um, so, you know, depending on the intensity and the type of housing and, and shelters that are that are most affected, you're talking about say a million households total that it could be affected but probably more like like three or four hundred thousand that would that would have the types of damage that we're really concerned about but i that's really kind of that would be too early for me to say anything uh the main thing will be once the government gets out there tomorrow and assesses they can give us more information about what the real effects are and the vulnerable like who who needs support and if they need our support and how we can best uh, best support them in terms of what's going to happen in the future and has IOM got people on the ground now or people on the way there now there's people on the way that will be there already tomorrow morning so it's immediately after uh, the the landfall we should have people already there just as it's uh, getting off um, we don't have offices in that particular location at the moment, but we do uh, have people moving out there right now.